Last month, I became an artist to prove that anyone can blow up on Instagram as an artist if you make the right type of content. And I did this because if you don't know who I am, my name is Ryan Anderson and I'm the producer known as Ryan e. Beats. But we run a marketing program and run official ads for artists on Meta to help them blow up on Instagram. I'll have a link below if you're interested. But in this process, I became inspired by seeing some of the results from some of the artists that we're working with, but also a little bit frustrated at the fact that some of the artists were not getting the result that they were hoping for. And it, it bothered me in two ways. It bothered me that I wanted to see them get the result, but I, I also knew that they needed to sometimes step out of their comfort zone uh, to be able to get the result. So I wanted to put my best foot forward and show that um, there should be no judgment. There should be no hate. You should be comfortable to go out and do anything. And that's what I realized in this process is many of the people that were limited just were uncomfortable doing some of the things to differentiate themselves. And one of the biggest problems that I noticed in this process initially is that many artists just try to be too cool. There's a focus on uh, and I think it comes back to the childhood and, and when we got immersed into music the first time. And oftentimes it's when you're with your friends and during these rap battles or freestyle flows, you're hanging out with your friends in a circle. The last thing that you wanted to do was say something embarrassing, foolish, uh, or look dumb and, and be ridiculed. And this comes all the way back to childhood, childhood trauma and being immersed in, in a group of people. So we have to realize a lot of times the limitation uh, is very deep within us and we have to be able to break through and overcome a lot of these self-limiting beliefs about who we are. Uh, so once I realized that some of these artists are getting great results, oh my God, if I do what they're doing, it could work. I got excited and I said, hey, I, I wanna try this myself. I wanna see if our program actually works and if these people are getting results because they deserve it or are they getting lucky and you know maybe the truth is is that what we're teaching just doesn't work so hey let me as a coach as a guide let me go down this path let me show the process let me record some songs so i understand what the artists are dealing with in the process how to make viral songs so i understand how to take that controversy and bring it up to a level 10. And then the whole process of going outside, recording the videos, getting the, them edited, color grade them, and getting them to a really high level to where they pop out on Instagram, uh, visually, musically, controversially, and all of the above really has a large impact on your overall growth. And this is what I want for you. In this process, I started making controversial songs and I started uploading them and I didn't go too far. Actually on the first song that I had written, it was called Two Crackheads and that song was based on a time in my life where uh, I purchased one of my first properties and we went in to rent it out. We were looking at uh, getting some other people in there and we had four families outside. I was with my real estate agent, his name's Robbie, by the way, and we had the key, we were about to open the door and I look over at Robbie and he's like, I didn't lock that. So, so we were both very confused. We opened the door and there were two crackheads inside my house that I had recently purchased, trying to squat and basically prevent me from, um, you know, going in or renting out or even living in the property. So we had to physically, uh, <laughs> kicked them out uh, and the police didn't help us. So I wrote a song about that experience and it actually did really, really well. It was a funny song, it was a rap song. And then my second song uh, was a really sad song. It was, it was kind of a fun song, but then it led up to seeming like I was gonna hang myself, but it really it turned into me just hanging my clothes. And that was my second piece of content that really blew up online. Uh, and, and I wrote these songs for Instagram, and that's something that I want you to understand as well, is that when you're going through this process and you're trying to get results on Instagram, what most artists do is they write these songs for Spotify, they write these songs for themselves, and they write these songs in a way, kind of in an old fashioned way, either trying to be cool, trying to be cliche, or trying to fit in. And then they try to take these songs 
They're like everything else and they try to cram them into this hole, which is uh, Instagram. It doesn't really work that way most of the time. Sure, some of the time you can make a really, really good song. And if the song is really heart touching, if you're an amazing, I'm talking like top fraction, like one in a million, you can break through on Instagram almost solely through the quality of the music, but most of the time it takes the optimization of the video and going a few steps further by looking at uh, the way you're editing the video. How close are you to the video? How is the lighting? Uh, the lighting is hugely important. There's a whole list of things that we talk about and I would love to invite you to a session where we go a little bit more in depth and share with you step by step. So I'm gonna have a link below to go to our viral social media training where we go super in depth on every little detail that you need to adjust if you wanna break through on Instagram, that's gonna be below. But through this process, through blowing up online, you start to realize that you get a ton of hate. This is what happened when we worked with Kevin. And in Kevin's process, when he blew up online and got his first million views in like a couple days on his first song as well, um, he got a ton of hate. He got a lot of supporters and he grew his profile from working with us. I think he had like 40 followers and he got to, I think he's at around five or 6,000 now. And he also grew his Spotify to about that many thousands of monthly listeners as well in a very short period of time. Uh, but one thing I did notice is how much hate he was also getting. Um, and, and that's something that I was questioning is, does that always have to happen? And I'm seeing that more often than not, I actually haven't seen a case otherwise. Uh, every, so I'll just say it, anytime you blow up big, fast, and you make the right type of content, um, which is controversial, it's gonna rub some people the wrong way and it's gonna make other people laugh. It might make some people cry. Uh, but I saw that he was getting a ton of hate. Uh, so I was wondering, you know, is that going to happen to me as well? And it, and it did. I actually had to ask for the hate. And that's another aspect of this is I started to realize that I'm, I don't have enough hate. I've been a really solid producer behind the scenes. I've done great work. I haven't ruffled any feathers uh, for many years. And I realized, oh man, this is why I cannot break through the Instagram algorithms algorithm is I'm just not controversial enough. I don't trigger people. I don't make them feel something. I don't make them move in any direction. I kind of just give them some good information. And that changed when I realized and I made songs. Some of the songs I'm literally calling out the viewer and some of them I'm literally asking for hate. I'm begging for hate almost. And in that process, I was able to get what I wanted. I was able to scale to a really high level. And I'm talking about going from two or 3,000 views per post on my Instagram to going to an average of 100,000. Going from two shares, five shares, or 10 shares to averaging like 1,000 shares. Some of the videos going up above 20,000 shares on Instagram. And I'm not even an artist. I'm just someone that knows that this process is simple. I know that I have a process that works. When it comes down to making the right organic content and promoting it the right way so you can trigger organic results, and that's the difference of what uh, the process that I'm telling you here today. If you can make the right kind of content and get it up to a high level, it only takes a little bit of promotion to trigger a massive result like we've seen with myself and Kevin Tierney, which we've been averaging about $50,000 worth of uh, promotion. That's what the average artist would pay to get 2 million views and 100,000 shares to really exponentially scale across the internet. Uh, that's the kind of numbers that people pay that, but you don't have to pay that. And that's what we've learned in this process. Uh, a couple of regrets that I do have is I didn't have to go so far. I really, after I started blowing up, I wanted to see how much further I can take it by going even more controversial. And I did a few things that may have rubbed some of my audience the wrong way. Like for me, I, I wore a Speedo and I grew up swimming and diving. So it's something that I was comfortable with, but I didn't take into account that a lot of people were gonna feel uncomfortable with that. And what I learned in this process is I could have gotten this result and I didn't have to go so far as to turn off a lot of my long-term followers. 
But here's my invitation to you. If you're an artist and you don't have a large following that's supporting you and, and actually creating um, royalties and making you money to live off of, um, then you have nothing to lose. You should get out there and step up the controversy. There are things that you can do. There are clothes that you can buy. There are lyrics. There are controversial words that you can put in and you don't have to do it in a hateful way. You can talk about these topics without having to pick a side. You make people question. You make people think about, huh, what is he saying here? It seems like he's saying this. I kind of want to attack him here. You get these battles happening under your Instagram posts. So that is the thing is creating a controversial conversation under your Instagram post through the song, through the lyrics, through the visual representation, and through even working with people and having them put comments, right? When you, when you know the right people and they know the right comments that blow up online, uh, that causes a, a huge difference. And that's one of the things that we've done is we've organized a lot of the top comments that cause Instagram posts like, the, like yours, hopefully, to blow up because you get the right haters and then other haters come in and they, they like each other's comments and this whole chain happens. I saw it happening. I wanted to test out if it works it worked for me, it worked on my first songs, I learned some things, but my invitation to you is that you have nothing to lose. If you wanna take a step further, I highly recommend to go check out uh, what we're doing on IG. I'm gonna have a link below as well to a private uh, training. We're no longer offering this, but I'm gonna have it below for you since you made it to the end of this video. I wanna give back and it's gonna share with you exactly what to do today so you can start blowing up on Instagram. A lot of those detail, like a whole detail list of every little change that you need to make in your video based on what we found works because we study this, we, we literally look for artists on Instagram that are blowing up, specifically the ones that have a very small following. What are they doing to break through the algorithm? Like, sure, I get it. If you have 100,000 followers and you have all the money in the world and you could throw that 50K per month on advertising, sure, you could get this result. But how can we get this result without that kind of money and without a huge following and without a rich uncle and all those things that are against us? How can we break through that and get some momentum, grow our following, get some money coming in? So I'm gonna have the training below. Let me know, though, what is your biggest... Uh, thing that's holding you back from getting results to your music comment below if you found this video valuable shoot me a like and subscribe and i'll have a lot more to come i should have some videos up here somewhere otherwise have a great day i'm looking forward to continue to scale with you and i hope you will join me in the next